What made you want to make this movie as your directorial debut? Uh, well, it certainly wasn't the easiest directorial debut. It should have been two guys in a room, but um, this story just really captured my imagination. Uh, I felt it was really, obviously, a very visual event um, with, you know, incredible 50,000 people with incredible protests and all that creativity and color on the streets. And, you know, a victory, a clear victory. They shut down this organization, and then the response by the police was, uh, you know, was very heavy-handed, and uh, it escalated out of control. A state of emergency happened, a curfew was imposed, the military, the army uh, suddenly was, you know, in downtown Seattle and the whole thing turned into a riot and, uh, and, and Seattle looked like a war zone. And I thought, that's, that's pretty good, you know, it's very cinematic and that might be um, a good subject for a film, but also what people were out there for, what they were fighting for and standing up for. The issues, I thought, were, were very important issues and quite timeless issues. Absolutely, and the other thing that was so amazing is that, you know, I, I don't remember it. it. Aside from a little bit of news blurbs, you know, it's so amazing how many people you talk to that, that don't remember it as, it, it has so much more impact when you see the movie. Yeah, you know, I didn't remember it either. I, I, I remembered it but very vaguely, and I think most people, you know, you say, um, you know, what's the movie about? Oh, it's about Seattle, 99, WTO, and they're like, mm, you go riots, and they go, oh yeah. And that's what's exciting, because when I started to research this event, I just couldn't believe how incredible this event was and how little I remembered uh, about the issues, about what this organization stood for. And then the real footage, I mean, the violence, the just escalating violence was startling, to say the least. And I really wanted to, um, you know, not make a documentary as such, but to actually make a film with great actors that people can connect to and you know that people want to go and see someone like Andrew Benjamin from Outcast, you know, get a new audience in to to sort of um, re-examine this event. And hopefully, the question that they ask, that I've asked myself, is why don't I remember this event? What was so interesting about the event itself was that it was a really diverse collection of people. Uh, the media kind of phrased it as rich college kids, or uh, hippies looking for their '60s fix. That's a quote by Thomas Friedman. Um, that was so untrue, you know, when I started to research the event, it wasn't, it was working class Americans, labor unions, steel workers, teachers, farmers, all standing up for human values, for the right to work, for, you know, the right to good wages, uh, the right to a clean environment. And it was also the developing nations, and it was also, uh, it was a very much an inside-outside strategy, so you had activists who were out there with incredible tactics called direct action tactics. And they shut this thing, this organization down. But also on the inside, you had agitators as well. So it was really an inside-outside strategy that was so successful that it's never happened again because the police uh, got wise to the tactics and they put up exclusion zones where, you know, now you have freedom cages where you can go and dissent 15 miles away from, you know, you know the real action. and. And so in one ironic sense, because Seattle was so successful, uh, authorities around the world have really crushed, you know, have really sort of come down hard on, on any kind of protesters at any of these big, you know, uh, G8 meetings or, or other meetings like that. Um, Charlize plays what I called the innocent bystander. Um, she's us, you know, she's, most people who go to see this film aren't protesters. They don't know what it feels like to be 300 foot up on a crane dropping a banner or be a policeman in front of thousands of, of demonstrators. Most people who see the film, you know, will be will be just like me, who didn't really know about the event. And, and so I wanted a character who was that person, who is just a resident of the city, happens to be there working during the event, and gets really caught up in, in the chaos inadvertently. Um, and, you know, I, I set her in, there's a scene where she's in a Gap store. And I did that, you know, purposely because we've all been in a gap or we've all been in a mall or we've all been in that sort of commercial environment and we can relate to it and when the when that window smashes uh, it doesn't just smash on her as a character it smashes in on all of us and every time that happens and i'm watching the film and they all, the audience gasps because they can totally you know connect and put themselves in her place and when bad stuff starts to interfere when this this demonstration starts to interfere with just normal residents reality i think people really the audience really connect, and obviously what she goes through is, is pretty harrowing, and uh, it definitely, the audience are definitely right there with her. It's, it's, uh, 
you know, it's pretty intense. And so that was her, her you know, I wanted some neutral character for sure. The film is about, it's about that you do have power as an individual, that you can make a difference. You know, we're, we're constantly told or made to feel that we don't have any power, that we don't have a voice. Uh, you know, particularly in America in the last eight years, it feels like no one's listening. And the systems that are in place, the economic systems, the social systems, uh, we're told that we can't change them. This is the way things are. And this is, this is a film about an event that's a clear illustration that that is not true. You can change anything if you want. You can change an entire system. Uh, change is the only thing that you know is constant. And so this is a film about that. It's a film about people from all walks of life getting together in solidarity and you know really making a difference. And um, you know I think it's a good time for that because it's an election year where you're you know you as an individual do count. And obviously a lot of people don't feel that they count. And um, so this is a film to go see. Get inspired. And, uh, you know, we have a website, uh, BattleInSeattleMovie.com, which really uh, explores the issues more in depth than the film could maybe have done. And, um, you know, you can also take action with certain organizations that we partner with. So it's about inspiring people and hopefully they'll go and, and you know, do something.